Hello coders and welcome to episode 1.2 of our Google Apps Script course. In this episode we're going to be talking about getting and inserting sheets. So the top three methods to do this are get sheet by name, get sheets, and insert sheet. If you can see with insert sheet we have three optional parameters, the sheet name, sheet index, and options. So let's dive into the code. So these methods can only be accessed once you have a spreadsheet on hand. So let's do that. So I'm actually going to declare a variable. And to do that, I'm going to write const spreadsheet. Again, variable names are arbitrary. You don't need to call it spreadsheet. You can call it SS. You can call it David if you wanted to. But I'm going to call it spreadsheet just so it makes sense. I'm going to open up my spreadsheet by saying spreadsheet app dot open by ID. Get my quotes in there. And then here is the spreadsheet that I want. As you can see, I kind of changed it up a little bit, but I'll explain. So I'm going to grab the ID, put it in the quotes. And then now, so this produces, this returns, as they say, a spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit the semicolon and it's going to return a spreadsheet and I'm going to store it in this variable called spreadsheet. So then I'll hit the enter key and so now we can access this. We don't have to write this out every single time we want the spreadsheet now. We can just access it through the variable. So I'm going to write spreadsheet and then I can hit the, the period sign and then now I get all of the methods that that are under the class of a spreadsheet. So the first one that we want is we want to get get sheet by name. Here it is. So get sheet by name, or that's actually get sheet name. We don't want that. We want get sheet by name. All right, there we go. And as you can see, this returns a sheet. So what's the difference? The difference is this entire thing is a spreadsheet. These two things down here are called sheets. So let's just say we want to get sheet one. So the name of it is sheet one. And again, that's a string. Make sure you spell it correctly. As you can see, there's no space between the sheet and the one. Good. So now we have get sheet by name. So this is, so let's just run this just, just to see if it works. Great, it does. All right, so that now we have access to this sheet in particular. So another one of those methods was get sheets. So let's again write our variable name spreadsheet oops, spreadsheet and get sheets. So what this does is it just grabs all of the sheets. As you can see it returns an array of sheets. So get sheets. What's going to do is it's going to grab this sheet but then also this sheet. Any sheets that are in the spreadsheet. So just to see them. I'm actually going to use a method called logger log, which is kind of the app script version of console log. In fact, you could write console if you wanted to, but since I'm so used to the old version of app script, I'm going to write logger log. And now it says spreadsheet sheets. So let's run this. And now we can view our logs. And as you can see here, our logs say that there are two sheets in our spreadsheet, which we can see here, two sheets. Awesome. So the last one is inserting a sheet. So let's do this one more time. Spreadsheet dot insert sheet. So as you can see, there's a lot of optional arguments. Let's start off with the just the very basic one, insert sheet with no arguments. What this will do is it will just insert a default sheet into our spreadsheet. So let's hit run. And as you can see, there's another sheet that was added. It's sheet three right here. So this is completely new, and we this is the one that we just generated. The default name for it will just be whatever the next sheet is. So if there's already a sheet two, it'll be sheet three. The next one, if I did it again, it'll be sheet four. But let's say we want to add some optional parameters. So let's get rid of that. Insert sheet 
So there's a lot of optional parameters. Let's just uh, let's just take them off right now so we can showcase them all. So these are positional. You have to have them all. Like this is the first argument sheet name. You have to have it in the first position here. Sheet index need to have it in the second position. I mean, for the most part, they're not named arguments. So make sure that you're you're putting the sheet name where it says sheet name. All right. So sheet name. Let's just let's say we want to call it. Uh, Detroit and the sheet index so it's zero indexed so it's just wherever it lines up down here so just to make a point let's let's put it at zero index so the first the first spot there so zero and options options are I believe the only option that you can add in fact I know the only option you can add is a template so let's do that so that's why I have this kind of templated it out there are you know there's data name location job title reason for leaving but then there's also format data which is all these blue colors and alternating colors so let's take that so this is a you you do the you do the options by by inserting a object and the key to that is template and this is all JavaScript stuff right here but the template and then you need a template for that and that template is going to be a sheet so let's just copy this real quick this is going to be our sheet so our spreadsheet get sheet by name sheet one great and then closing curly bracket that's good and then this will complete the method and we'll write a semicolon right there all right let's see if this works We'll run the function. Okay, good. No errors. Let's check it out. All right, here's our Detroit. And boom, there it is. So instead of just having a blank sheet now, we have a sheet that's in the first position here. It's named Detroit. And it's got all of the data that was in our template sheet, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope you learned a lot in that video. Until next time.